From here, we also have access to the Medical and Health Centric Health Reference Center, which gives clear and comprehensive information on conditions and diseases, health and wellness, mental health, and the human body. And of course, a lot of the information that's in here may be relevant to different topics that are found in the Issues and Controversies database, and vice versa, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So let's click on Health Reference Center and we will be taken to a very similar looking page. Remember, Facts on File or Infobase, the company that owns Facts on File, has created all of these different databases and so it has the same creators. The databases simply are providing different types of information. Here we will notice that we have a very similar, in fact, it's the same search interface as before. So I'm not going to go into how that works. It operates almost identically as the issues and controversies search bar. Instead, I'm just going to show you briefly how the main page is designed to help you browse and learn more about the great topics related to health that are here. And remember, this is a reference resource. So similar to Credo, the Health, health Reference Center provides reference information to a variety of health-related topics. And they do that in the, the ver these various ways. There are the health centers, which cover different types of health, specifically broken down into categories, health for teens, health for women, health for men, health for children, health for seniors. Reference centers related to different major areas of health and wellness, body systems, nutrition and food, pharmaceuticals, dental and oral, complementary and alternative medicine, and cosmetic and plastic surgery. There are also a variety of really great and really short or brief videos that can help you get access uh, in a great multimedia way to understanding topics and then illustrations that may or may not aid you in your research and studies. On the right hand side of the main screen, you can also browse the various topics. These are organized alphabetically. And then similar to the other database, Issues and Controversies, the Health Reference Center has a news aggregation system. And you will notice that the news that is provided through routers is um, very up to date. At the bottom of the screen, if you want to learn more, you can click on about Infobase Learning. Let's click on Teen Health to see more about this topic center. Again, it's very, very cleanly designed. You will see that there is a bunch of core reading, suggested reading that is provided here, which can give you a really, really amazing foundation in terms of your understanding of a topic. Suggested searches, if you're looking to learn more about specific topics, you can see how to search for topics related to the teen's health topic below. So for example, you can search for abortion, you can search for allergies, you can search for diabetes. And these will bring general results, but all of these searches have been labeled or described by the editors of the Health Reference Center as being related to teens health. You can also get some access to the key videos and illustrations that are also available on the main page using these sections here. In a future video, similar to the top bar and the advanced search in issues and controversies, I will go into the Health Reference Center's additional tools and showcase some advanced functionality of this database. So that's basically it. If you have any questions on the Health Reference Center or issues and controversies or facts on file in general, I highly recommend you reach out to us at the library. Send me or any of the librarians here at LW Tech an email. Use library at lwtech.edu or come visit us in person. We'll be happy to provide a tutorial and get you searching and browsing in the most efficient and thoughtful way possible. 
Thank you very much and see you soon.